Welcome back to another Brew Gamer video. We are here again on No One Survived. Since the last time I recorded, No One Survived had an update. It changed the weight carrying capacity and a whole bunch of other things in the game, so I had to start a new save file. So before doing this recording, I had a couple of my friends from Games with Unique People, my little group, uh, come in and they helped me do a little grinding just to get some basic resources so we could actually get the series back on the road. Uh, I, do, I did give myself the starter bunch of supplies that you get at the very beginning and then grabbed a couple items from those guys that helped. And... Uh, we're going to start running through again. We lost the other save file because I wanted to have all of the new things with the update. So we're going to go ahead and get started. And we're going to grab some materials from here. Hopefully get some good things. Maybe stop by the town. I want to get a couple of simple parts. And then we're going to make our way over to where I've set up a small base. I still don't have containers there yet. Uh, so we're going to work on that today, uh, and maybe hit the airplane today, because the airplane always has some great supplies. And for the life of me, I can't remember if there were any clickable items in here, and I don't believe there's only one or none, I forget. Because I don't usually pay attention to the starting area. But we're going to learn some things, we're going to explore some things, we're just going to have a good time today. Nothing. How about you? I don't think you're opening the bowl. <clears throat> Did we already come through here? I don't remember collecting anything out of here, but you never know. Oh no, there we go. Small bottle of fuel, iron block, copper block. Now the iron and copper blocks are used a little later on once we get the smelter down. Our furnace or forge or whatever you would like to call it. I forget what it's called right now. But uh, we're gonna melt that down, turn it into some ingots. And then once we have the once we have the ingots, then we can start making why did you walk up guys an acrobat? Uh, you can make all sorts of tools and eventually weapons when you have the weapon smithing tables, all sorts of goodies. And they also help you unlock and learn things. I don't need any more shoulder lights for now. And I didn't get to show you in the, last, in the last episode, but I'll show you in this one. There's a truck right here. And this is a drivable truck. So if you can get some repair kits, you can drive this truck around. And you can carry four people with you uh, in the truck. So when you have a group play, they can ride with you up to you know three friends plus you in the truck. And it's much faster getting to POIs, however, and it does have all the storage space here. However, the truck is sensitive. I mean snowflake sensitive. If you hit a zombie, a, uh, a bear, a boar, a wolf, a pebble, you could wind up doing some serious damage, flipping it, all sorts of crazy out of control stuff and destroying it and you will have to get more repair kits and repair kits are rather expensive and with the trader you have to wait an additional 10 days before you can buy them again and uh, that's just no good so do be careful when driving don't take it up to full speed I will tell you the handling on these things are well they're special Now, I know we went into the town the last time. I think I'm going to go this way. I don't remember. It's not this house. It... Uh, 
Alright, I'm pretty sure I heard a zombie. So we might be getting a visit here momentarily. Collect all the ammo you can get your hands on. If you want to play with guns, you're going to need an absolute ton of ammo. So while it takes up a lot of space in your inventory, it is absolutely worth keeping. Hmm. I don't need any of that right now. Would be good to have the fabric. Alright, so I'll show you that real quick. If we didn't look at it in the last episode, pull your knife out. Have it in your hand first. I don't need the jacket right now. It does give us scratch resistance, but eh, we don't really need it right now. So we're going to dismantle, but make sure you have the knife in your hand first. Right click on it and hit dismantling. And you'll use your knife and you'll turn that into fabric. Sometimes a couple different fabrics. And then later on when you have the sewing station, you can turn those fabrics into other items, more useful items. that are absolutely worth every penny. Now the military backpack that you get in the starter kit is a pretty sizable backpack, but it's not the largest in the game. There is one backpack, I believe it's just called Backpack. It has a negative 20... Ah, everybody's coming out. It has a negative 20 uh, movement penalty, if I remember correctly. But anyways, look for the one with the negative 20 stat on it. That negative 20 stat means that it is the largest backpack in the game. It has 25 rows of, of squares here. So you can carry an unbelievable amount of stuff. Pretty darn full here. Alright, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to head over to where I've set up a little camping area. And that's going to be our new camping area for this playthrough. We'll run over there, clean up our inventory a little bit, go throw down a chest or two. get this rearranged just a little more. Name of the game is Inventory Management and playing a game of Tetris. There's a lot of Tetris in this game and you're gonna get really good at it. But while you're getting good at Tetris you'll also be able to carry more stuff. Alright, but it looks like I'm not gonna Tetris too much more right now, especially on camera. I need some more simple parts. Only having one simple part will give us a single chest, and I really would like to have three. All right. Three simple parts. No room for that. I don't have room for that fuel right now. Hmm, yeah, just cannot Tetris enough items. Uh, I probably could. 
Take that out temporarily. My, yeah, probably not. Probably not, Brew. Probably not. No, we're just not going to get close. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to get close enough for that. It's already getting dark. I think we're just going to have to run for it. We're going to have simple parts. They're going to be on this side, I think. Oh, look at all those condensers. So the condensers you'll need later on, because that will let us coffee uh, that will let us actually make some refrigerators so that we can actually store our food for a lot longer so we'll see we'll see what we can get when we drop everything off. I know there will be some simple parts at the airplane and we will be going to the airplane. However, for now, we are going to be going over to the base, dropping some stuff off. We'll build a single chest so that we can drop some more items and then continue on our merry way. So I'm going to pause it right here because we don't need to watch us run the entire way. I'm going to pause it right here, bring you back when I get back to the base. Alright, so we're almost back at the base here. Slightly larger, just a little bit larger than what I had at the first and second episodes uh, that you've already seen. but. I wanted to make sure we had a little spot to dump stuff off so we could actually go and check out some POIs together instead of having to rebuild everything that we've already seen on camera. So what I did is I built up this little foresters area or lumberjacks area. They got some cool equipment in but it's a nice flat area kind of tucked away close to a road which was important to me not close to water however not close to water also means that we can build a rain catch which is an item that I wanted to feature anyways so we'll go in here we got sticks we got fiber we got a bandage we got a pot in here all stuff that was easily collected just around this little camping area and we're gonna go ahead and drop a bunch of items off. No. And if you need to rotate an item in your inventory so that it sits right, press the R key. Don't set it right back where it was, but there we go. And now it's rotated so that you can play a little more Tetris uh, to your inventory.
let's move that, put that there, put that there. Of course, I may need these injectables, and I might be regretting my decision to set these injectables down. But I want to have an empty inventory because we're going to go over to the airplane or the crashed airplane because there is a lot of good stuff over there and we want all of the good stuff. All of the good stuff. So we're going to set down as much as we can in there. And there are the two furnaces to start with of course they're they have not been built yet i hadn't even collected the items for it so we're gonna have to go get a whole bunch of clay which is going to require some mining and we'll do that probably in the next episode but for this episode we're going to go right up the hill and you can see it from here because those trees had rendered out um hmm well before we go right up the hill I wonder if I can hit him with a bow. I am not that great of a shot when it comes to the bow. Well, apparently I am good enough to hit him from here. Which is great. I uh, may have made him mad, but there we go. Wow, that's about the best I've ever done with this bow. All right, make sure we're headed back the right way. We're going to go right up the hill here to the plane. The plane is probably one of the, the best places, I would say, to start with when you were first starting the game. Within the first few days, go hit up the airplane. There's a ton of stuff there, and it's usually guarded by one... I believe it's one zombie. I'm pretty sure it's only one. But look at all this stone all over the ground here. We could definitely build a nice base with stone foundations and stone walls at some point just by collecting all these little stones out here. And I think that's what we're going to do. Because that little base that I built, it's nice and it's going to serve us fairly well. It's too small. After having played this game for a little while, I can tell you it is not in... Oh, hello, Mr. Mushroom. We're definitely picking you up. Ooh, and you. Now, while they do not stack, they are super useful to have. Mushrooms will make mushroom tea or broth I'm pretty sure it's tea uh, which is good for I forget if it's a malaria or infection or one of the two one of the two I would really love to see the developers put in the game the ability to take all out of a container. I know it's a feature in a lot of games, and I know that they did this, you know, it's early access, early access, and I get that. And they might be adding it in in the next update, or maybe an update after that. Um, ooh, the Italian shotgun. That is my favorite gun in the game so far. It is the Italian shotgun. I highly recommend it. It holds 12 shells, does decent damage. Yeah, you want that. The other two, of course, you got the MT7, you got the AK, great guns. But for me, those are sellable items, which means I can actually get repair kits for the cars, but it's going to take a whole lot of running to get there or to to get to the point to sell them all right we're gonna run to the front 
We're going to run to the front real quick. Start at the front, work our way to the tail. Sports shoes, leather shoes, 25, 17. What do we have on our feet? Hmm. I think I might take those sports shoes just to get a little more speed. Oh yes, gotta take those off. Seventeen two fifteen. Twenty five two six. So I lose some cold resistance, but I gain speed, and that's that's fantastic. I like that. Um, I did remake my character so that I could enjoy all the benefits of the update, but I also did a random character roll so that I could get some stats and I kept re-rolling you hit the random button when building your character if you didn't know and it gives you stats so you get three positive and three negative stats I got carry forward which gives me an extra 20 kilos or whatever it is that they measure in the game we'll go pounds for now uh, pretty sure it's kilos but you get 65 with the update but with this roll, with carry forward, I get a plus 20. So I can carry 85, which is spectacular. You can cut down an entire tree and carry that in your backpack and be fine. And I really love it. Now I've got love learning, which 20% boost to my experience, skill experience. Fantastic. Gets us to more materials. And life is strong, which gives me a plus 20 on my health. So, worth every penny. However, I get less flexible, which negative 10 on speed. 20% extra chance of malaria. And search time is plus 30%. All of which I was okay with. So, I recommend checking that out. Ooh, I'm getting thirsty. We'll go ahead and drink a bottle. Uh, I'm just going to drink one for now. Oh, I hear you. Where are you at? The items on the ground, so we're going to take that. Which one is that? That is just the regular military. I am going to leave those. Alright, I'm going to guess that guy is not a jumper, so we're alright. Yeah, he sounds a little aggravated. Oh, she sounds a little aggravated. Yeah. You don't need that arm. There we go. You don't need that head. I definitely don't need these t-shirts. Hmm. Don't need those shoes either. Do we want to take the time to get the fabric? Yeah, I think we do. Let's dismantle. That is a bright yellow shirt, though. Good gosh. It's to caution the zombies from getting hurt. You look like a giant road cone. Or a safety vest. Body bags, which leads you to wonder who left body bags right there. Coffee and water. We are going to take the water. 
Um, don't really need them, but you know what? We'll take them anyways. Nice little winter hat. I forget what the winter hat does. Let's take a look here. Cold resistance, eh, heat not so good. But head defense plus 15, so we'll take that. I like a little head defense, at least for now until we can get something better, which we'll hit up the police station at some point. Because that's gonna have a lot more a lot more goodies for us that we definitely want, including a lot of library books. Uh, and library books for days uh, which is what we need to get all of our skills up and you'll see that because I built that base my skill level hold on go to my skills did I pick up the wrong character oh because I use this character in another save file I may have lost all the stuff that I had in here already. Well, we'll work on getting that back because I had already built up this character a little bit. And I think it's silly that because I use this character on another save file that I would lose all of my stats. I think that's pretty... Yeah, I think that's pretty ridiculous. And this episode is going to run a little bit long because we had to get over to the base. So we're going to do an extra few minutes. To get all the goodies. And get back over to the, the base. So we're going to run a few minutes long. Hope you all don't mind. Bear with me. We're going to leave the condenser coil for now. all the rest of these goodies not bad oh I see one more can that I missed and then the last spot over here well we definitely want those we might be leaving a few items just because we don't have the space. Or maybe not. Oh, yeah, those are books. And we don't leave behind books. Oh. Well, off camera, I will come back. I will pick up those books. Because we want them. Definitely want those books. I will come back. Off camera, pick them up. And then we'll do our next episode. But at this point, we're running back to the base. We got a ton of loot already. But I didn't get any simple parts. At least I don't believe we got simple parts. And yes, if you keep your finger on the W key for walking, you can still walk and run while searching your inventory, which is a great little feature. I really like that. It's a clever feature that, well, at least you can run from zombies and get back home a lot faster than checking your inventory constantly at a dead standstill. But I, I gotta tell you, I'm enjoying the heck out of this game. I hope you're enjoying the series. I know I am. I will definitely be enjoying it more as we get more episodes into it. But... We're back at base, so I'm going to end the video here. If you like today's video, give us a thumbs up. Possible subscribe. It's free for you. It really helps me out. It helps the channel to grow. And leave a comment. I love reading comments. It also helps the, uh, you know, it helps that YouTube algorithm, whatever the algorithm does for us. I don't think it does much, but whatever. But, uh, yeah, we'll catch you in the next video. Have a good one.